Selena Han Zhang, Zhang Jiao lies himself to Zhang Lu, another mystical leader. Together with the remaining Yellow Turbans, he attempts to start another rebellion. Determined to eliminate the Yellow Turban threat once of Why am I adding the word threat? That's weird. Lina Han Zhang, Zhang Jiao lies himself with Zhang Lu, another mystical leader. Together with the remaining Yellow Turbans, he attempts to start another rebellion. Determined to eliminate the Yellow Turbans once and for all, soon Jian moves in to attack. Alright, well here's the next tale, the return of the Yellow Turbans in the actual stage, eliminate Zhang Jiao. In order to unlock this tale for Wu, all you need to do is get the Yellow Turban Fortress, and then when you play the Yellow Turban Rebellion, make sure Zhang Jiao retreats. And by in order to do that, you have to defeat every general and officer on the map, minus Zhang Jiao of course, and then defeat the gate captain behind Zhang Jiao, then you'll instantly retreat. Anyway, this is pretty much the same stage as for Wei and Shu, just you're playing for Wu. That's it. So, anyway, we're gonna go and uh, swap out characters, and this time, I'm gonna play as some stuff. And he has a second model, I might as well show it off. There we go, let's do it. Alright, so the equipment, the weapon, we have a Tanfa at level 3. The items, I'm going to add the Taurus Amulet. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives. We have to defeat both Zhang Jiao and Zhang Lu to win. If Sun Jian's defeated, if I die, or if the timer runs out, we lose, it's a game over. Plain and simple, the unit info. For Sun Jian's forces, you have Sun Jian and Sun Se, which is me, Wang Yai, Sun Shang Xiang. For the Yellow Turbans, you have Zhang Jiao, Zhang Bao, and Zhang Liang, Pei Yi Wan Xiao, He Yi, and Bo Zhang. For now, Zhang Lu will appear here, but uh, we gotta make sure we defeat him very quickly. I'll talk about that in a bit, but for now, let's do it. One guy, your task is to stall Zhang Lu. Sun Shang Zhang will circle the rear and take the fortress. We will then use the fortress to stop Zhang Lu. So we're going to defeat He Yi and Bo Zhang and take it from there. Alright, Bo Zhang is down. Now we'll go and defeat He Yi, and he's down. And we occupied the South Fortress. We're pretty much trapped now. And uh, I know half my bodyguards are there now. And unfortunately my horse is on the other side. But I'm not that concerned. All I need to do now is make sure that... We uh, don't allow Zhang Lu to meet up with Zhang Jiao. That's the main concern. That's what we make sure we we cannot have that happen. And by defeating Zhang Lu, you have to defeat every single one of its troops. Every single one of them. Because if you defeat Zhang Lu before you defeat every single one of his troops, he will instantly reappear. In some cases, he'll teleport in other areas and do not want that to happen. So, skip Zhang Lu for now. Not worth our time. Because if we defeat him, he will instantly teleport. And I think I almost accidentally killed him. And my bodyguards did, because I heard that. Well, at least he didn't hit the gate yet. And he cleared the South Fortress, which isn't good. And he's way out there now, so we gotta be careful. Because if he meets up with Zhang Jiao, him and Zhang Jiao core sorcery will, will pretty much brainwash every single one of our units, including our generals. 
In this case, Sun Chung Xiang and Huang Gai. And that's not good. If we defeat Zheng Lu, then Zheng Jiao will cause a little sorcery. He'll cause a little bit of sorcery, which will allow most of the troops to be under his spell, but it's revertible. And if you destroy the two cauldrons at the main uh, headquarters by uh, Zhang Jiao, then they will revert back to our side. However, if uh, <laughs> if Zhang Lu and Zhang Jiao both meet up and they cause their sorcery, it's not revertible, and we're pretty much fucked at that point when it comes to uh, having them revert back. Anyway, there's Pei Yuan Xiao and Zhang Bao will defeat them both. Try to defeat them both before uh, Zhang Lu appears. And he's down. Pei Yuan Xiao's down. Now let's head over here quickly. So we're going to hightail the fuck over there and defeat what's left of Zhang Lu's troops. And try not to... Uh... <laughs> try not to defeat Zhang Lu. Like I almost did there. And my bodyguards pretty much finished them off. That's fine. I'd rather have him attack me like that than him running away. And there's a few more over there, pretty much hightailing the fuck over there, so we gotta be over there quickly. And now Zhang Liang will cause some wind. All we have to do is defeat him before... Well, once we defeat him, we'll stop. Ooh, speed shoes. I'm gonna need it because for some reason that troop is running faster than me. There we go. I think that's it. No, one more. There we go. Now we'll find the real Zhang Lu. And he's right there. So now, once we defeat him, then that'll be one down, one to go, and we don't have to worry about him and Zhang Jiao meeting up to uh, entice their magic sorcery. And there you go. That was my main concern. So now... I'm gonna pretty much bolt over by Zhang Jiao and defeat those cauldrons, and then we'll be good. And as you saw, most of the troops will vote. Not all of them. If Zhang Lu appeared with uh, Zhang Jiao, then everybody would pretty much revolt. Including Sun Xiang Xiang and Huang Gai. So we're just gonna go try to bypass Zhang Liang, defeat Zhang Liang if we can. And then uh, I know that wind is still happening unless that stops once we defeat Zhang Lu. But from what I'm seeing, it Magic seems like it stopped. Anyway, we defeated Zhang Liang. We can't fall behind. And I'm just gonna go and defeat those cauldrons. Grab the... Whichever one is over here. I think it's a dim sum. Go back, grab the moose and wine, and then defeat uh, Zhang Jiao. 
I think there's three cauldrons here. Did I say two? I'm thinking the other seven fortress. And let's not get fucking annihilated by Zhong Jiao either. And there we go. The spell is broken. Now crush Zhang Jiao. And I think he's the only one that's left too. So Yep, that was a dim sum, I was right. Okay. So all that's left is Zhang Jiao, yep. So let me go and grab the uh Musu wine first before I defeat Zhang Jiao. Cause I might as well get it, because the more I grab the easier for me it is to farm later on. So, that's just me anyway. So, the Musu wine will be over here by the gate. And then, uh, I might as well grab some health because I know for a fact that he'll annihilate me with this much health left. But, uh, I mean, who knows? I'm just not chancing it. Fuck that. <laughs> There's the Musu wine. Nothing there. That's a bit of a shock. Uh, should I defeat that gate captain? You know what? Fuck it. They have health anyway. Alright, that's more than enough. Now I'll go and defeat Zhang Jiao and end the stage. I mean, like I said, this stage in general, it's the same thing for Wei and Shu. It's just playing under the Wu forces. That's it. So, Zhang Jiao should be over here. Yep, there he is. Oh, fuck it. Let's just go where I'm at right now. I was going to fill up my Musi gauge, but I'm like, I'm eventually going to fill it up anyway, in some way, shape, or form. And I might as well use that Musu attack. Go back, grab the healing ointment, and then do it again. And I think he just got double attack. Or double defense. Well, that should finish him off. Should. Nope. Now. Uh, now he's down. My spirit shall prevail in the heavens. And that's a win. Alright, so... Yeah, that wasn't difficult at all. I mean, like I said, this is the third time you play in the stage, so... It becomes very common at that point. We completed it in 9 minutes and 14 seconds, which isn't that bad. It was actually longer than what I did in the Ultimate Rebellion. Anyway... Items I doubt... No, I was going to say, I doubt we got anything good. Our KO count was 128, which is... Eh, for the fact that we got 81 points. Our worthy opponent count is 7. We defeated everybody in the stage. And, uh... We have a good 3,351 points because of it all. We should get soon to the rank 9. And I think that's it. Yep. Now, the weapon experience total is 1,190. I don't... Nah, we're... We're still a bit shy from the level 4. Even though we defeated everybody. Alright. Bodyguards, nothing. I doubt we got anything because the bodyguards are at max. So, anyway. We will save. And before I save, I'll mention it right now. I'm going to go right into this low file and start from there. So, you're going to see the next tale. Well, not next tale. The next act will be act 4. Because I have this save. So... There you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part where we'll take on, well, we'll pretty much teleport <laughs> to Act 4 to get the last tale, Wanyu, God of War. So, peace out.